Hi to everyone and welcome. It's a great day to share with you a bit of useful information. If you want to build a stunning landing page that will convert well, that will bring your business higher, definitely it's better to use the platforms because in that case you're saving time and efforts to build everything that you want. So that's why today our team uh, decided to share with you one fantastic platform and provide you with a small tutorial of how to build your own landing page using this platform. Before I've started to show you the step-by-step -step tutorial of how the things happen here, uh, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video so you can easily get access to Lead Pages platform with a big discount for our friends, for our subscribers. So not wasting your time, I'll try to make this video as short as possible but with maximum value for you. So jump in and let's start. Okay, we're on the dashboard and when you're gonna be in the platform, you need to press create the new landing page and you will jump to the section with the tons of templates that are already pre-built for literally any purposes that you may have. Uh, and you can sort it by conversion rate, most popular, newest. Uh, there's a page type list uh, and you can choose from that industry list and so on. Uh, in this video, I, I want to show you just literally mm, any template. Mm, I'm going to use uh, any template to show you how it's done and how it's work. First of all, you need to give your page a name. And after that, you're going to be on the editor. So let's find out what are the buttons. Um, redo, undo, preview all the templates and all the websites that you can build in this platform are absolutely mobile friendly uh, so you can open it from any device that you want we have the layout sections widgets styles and settings actually any um, any landing page or web page contains couple things uh, it's pictures pictures of a background or video maybe the uh, videos text and interactive elements like buttons and forms this is the basics uh, and definitely you can build it by your own layout uh, you can add things you can remove things and that's what I wanted to show you and that's what I'm going to do here in layout you see the layout of your picture you have just two sections body and footer you can add a section straight from here or you can use sections button and there are tons of them already pre-built you just drag and drop them to the spot with this uh, blue boxes just showing you how it's easy uh, easy to use just drag and drop testimonials if you have them for example or if you didn't found the correct correct pre-built template of a section you can just drag and drop uh, the blank one okay now we see the layout has changed and we go into layout you see all those all those new sections that we added and body and footer footer should be in the end of this list so we can just grab and replace this thing to to the order that we want all right uh, straight from here you can delete sections that you want you can duplicate sections for example uh, or you can see what's inside the section when you press in this small arrow button you see the section style headline and column and you can add a column or a row if you want to add some extra things here we're gonna jump to widgets those are widgets actually that's uh, as i told you already that's all that you need to build your own uh, landing page or web page or big website and this is all drag and drop and that's very handy and easy you just drag in that image and text for example uh, here i need to apply the button and here i need to apply the text for example yeah all the elements all the elements that you uh, grab in you can place to this spots with the blue boxes as uh, the same as with the sections 
pre-built. So, for example, I need the button to be in the left hand of this picture. And here you go. If you need to move some things, you're just grabbing, you're grabbing the spacer and you can move things around. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty easy to use. And that's why this platform is absolutely fantastic because it's absolutely easy uh, and it's absolutely fast to move things, to reorder things in the shape that you want. And, and that's just a big issue. Okay. So let's jump to, uh, to the how you can edit the section itself. You see um, here, I'm going to delete this section. Yes. Uh, you see there is a color of the background, but this is probably not the color of the section. That's the color of the whole entire page. And you can find it in the styles. You see page background. You see the color here. You can apply a picture or you can apply a color. Or for example, we can change the opacity and it's going to be a little bit brighter. Or we can change the color in the shape that we want. Okay, let it be like that, for example, for now. Uh, one more thing with the styles. There are font styles and if you have couple sections like five or six and in uh, each section you have mm, headings and you have the text blocks with a simple text. I'll show you uh, just in seconds. You can change the fonts instantly for entire page with a couple clicks uh, and not um, to not change the all the elements separately. So, as I told you, there are text, there are um, some elements like spacers, columns and rows, and you definitely need to change them uh, to the shape that you want if you're using a template, not building from scratch. Yeah, all the editing sesh, uh, all the editing actions happening with this edit section settings add section above or below you can do it straight from here you can duplicate copy or delete uh, the same uh, actions as in the layout so let's jump to edit section settings and we see the image here so we can change this image and you can use the images that you uploaded previously you can buy image straight from this platform it, it, it can be handy if you don't have your own content for um, for your business yet maybe just starting so you can buy them uh, and it's about eight bucks per picture it's not cheap but there are high quality pictures available for you or you can upload it straight from your computer and that's what I'm gonna do okay I like this picture it seems very cool it seems nice to me and uh, for example this picture is pretty dark and if you want to make the overlay, this can be very handy because, for example, if you have a black, uh, black background, you see the button is pretty, pretty invisible on it. And you can apply a color that will be over your, uh, over your picture. Yeah, it's wide and we just change in the opacity. You see the result, for example, we're going to change the color of this text and it's going to be pretty. Uh, how to edit the text. If you once use the Microsoft Word, you'll handle this actions for sure. You just double click on this block. And here you go. You have all the settings here. Uh, you can change the type of the text heading. Headline one, headline two. This is also important for the search engine machines. And the search engines will understand that this is a title. Uh, you can change the font straight from here, or you can change a font from uh, from the styles as I showed you already. Okay, let's use just this one. I suggest you not to use more than three fonts and not to use more than three colors for entire page, because in that case, um, your page can uh, can be like more balanced and your page can be more professional. So I showed you how to act with the text. This is pretty simple. 
No, I don't like this shape actually. I will change it to white color. Oh, actually, okay. Actually, it's okay. It's pretty visible. It's pretty all right here. What can we do with the button? Button, this is a very important part of this video. And actually, this is a very important part of all your entire page because this is an elements, interactive elements of how your visitors will interact with your landing page. You need to apply the call to actions like get free plan, uh, call now, order now, buy now, and so on uh, to, to make your visitors to press the button. Okay. In general, the purpose of any landing page is to get a contact, uh, contact information from your visitors for exchange to some value that you're bringing, like kick off your next phase of fitness with a free workout plan, you're giving a free value and you getting the information about the client and uh, there are click event and that's very important for this. Uh, you have a list of options, open a calendar pop-up, jump to page section, link to a landing page, link to an external page. But in most cases, this is the pop-up and let's edit the pop-up itself. The text is pretty similar uh, like with other cases. And here you go, the edit integrations. This is very important. You have three buttons, integrations, fields and actions in integrations. How are you going to get uh, new lead notifications? You can get it to your email um, straight or you can add an integration. And if you have an email marketing provider uh, like those from the list, like ConvertKit, MailChimp, GetResponse and ActiveCampaign and, and so on, you can integrate this uh, powerful tools. If you don't know them, you probably, uh, you definitely need to find out more about the services because it's very handy to grow your email list and to work with that list and to uh, bring new customers bring more income to your business or you can integrate everything with a zapier you have a list like long list of options uh, what you can integrate with the zapier so just consider this information uh, but it's pretty enough if you don't have like tons of um, uh, tons of new leads, it's pretty enough to get it to your inbox straight. Uh, second button is a field, you see there's an email and I want to add the first name. In most cases it's okay, the first name and email or you can choose the phone number for example if you need it uh, and so on. And actions, what's gonna happen when somebody will fulfill this uh, first name and email fields and press the button, send it to you. He's going to be on the page. It can be external URL, a landing page or default lead pages. Thank you page. Or you can build a landing page for separately for thank you with your uh, custom brand colors, with your um, like branding. Uh, and you can add a lead magnet, for example, if you're changing if you're changing the value, if your value that you bring into market to your visitors is some kind of PDF checklist about something that you're providing, that uh, can be done with this add lead magnet button. Uh, we're not gonna do that right now. I'm just showing you the core knowledges of how to build things. And you see that looks pretty fun. Maybe uh, in most cases, in most templates pre-built, you will find such uh, blue vertical lines and that means that you can reshape things uh, straight from here for example we, we don't see what's what's here and you see we deleted the block and nothing changed we're going to layout we go into body uh, this is the body section and we go into body and we see the headline one and column three yeah we have this column pre-built but we don't need it, for example, if we delete it, the text is reshaped. So, for example, I want it to be in the center of the page. And this text, I want to be also in the center of the page. We're going to delete this one and you see the button is big. I don't want it to be big or full width, maybe bigger like that. And maybe I want to use line. 
and you see that that's pretty cool that's pretty um pretty modern look but maybe i want this button to be a little bit lower so i'm jumping to widgets i'm grabbing a spacer and placing it right here and i can reshape it as i want so that's pretty easy guys uh actually i it's left to say about the settings seo definitely important question because you probably uh, want your your website your landing page to be visible to search engine machines so you need to apply the page title description and keywords social you can apply here uh, you can upload here the picture that will be uh, in the in the shape of social media so if you share in the link to some Facebook or Pinterest or some else place with a uh, media social media it will look like that analytics if you have google analytics tracking id uh, you need to apply it here uh, facebook pixel and so on and so on so that's pretty it i showed you how to manage things i showed you how to delete things i showed you how um, how you can build step by step you can build your own landing page and that's pretty easy and we spend like less than 20 minutes to make a standing landing page as for me and that was not so difficult as you can imagine so try to do that by yourself and you will handle it for sure uh, to try it right now you can use the link in the description panel of this video and you can get access to lead pages platform with a big discount from our team to our subscribers to our friends so don't miss this opportunity uh, to save some money while you're gonna grow your business i hope this all makes sense guys i hope this all sounds uh, proper to you i hope this was useful and i uh, appreciate that you watched this video till the end so i wish you good luck in your site building experience and see you in the next video bye bye